Okay, baby dolls. Today I'm playing Halfway for Posing Force again. After a few days off since my OCD had gotten bad and I wasn't able to find the time to do it either to play. So, Sunny Jim. Last time we played, we made a scientist friend who opened the door for us over there, but um, when he tried to open this one, he met his unfortunate and untimely demise, courtesy of malfunctioning electrical equipment. Besides the door. So... We're at the Hydrofauna Store Studies Laboratory now. Level Bravo. As my friend Judge Judson Gaiden would say, instead of the letter B. So, let us have a look around now, shall we, eh, baby dolls? That sounds like a splendid idea indeed, and last time I put these leeches out of their misery since they only had this little bit of water to try and sustain themselves in. Not really a very enviable predicament for them, was it? And I think there was something that I um, wanted to show you over here, but... Can't really remember what now that I think about it. Maybe it was over here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't remember. It's a good thing I did come over here though, so I could refill my health after um after losing it all, well, after losing a sizable amount of it the other day, when I was faffing around in that electrical field. So as to see, I can't go back in the elevator then. Yeah, so as to see, I can't show you what I was going to show you. I can't even remember what it was, what I was going to do, or what I was going to show you. So, but so baby dolls, without further ado, let us head on out of here the only way we can, shall we? Oh, and do these little shards of glass break, I wonder. No, it would seem they don't. Yeah, so... Let's just head on up here, shall we? The only way we can get out of here. Oh, they're killing a Barney. These, um... These patrols, as they call them, that's not nice behaviour. Wonder what's the best way I should do this. Maybe we need something heavy since we're in this, um... This awkward, tight, enclosed area, and we have a fair amount of pit drones firing at us. Jumping attracts their attention here, I find. And as you can see, it's awkward to move around here because of these pipes protruding from the walls, which keep blocking my movements as well, unfortunately. Any more? Oh yes, there is. I went okay. Lost most of my suit power, but my health is still good, and that's what armor is supposed to do, isn't it? it? Armor is supposed to absorb damage, so you can remain. Healthy, fit and healthy, I suppose, at the expense of your armor's condition. And notice how the walls are saying Valve on them again in discreet text. 
That's quite a curious Easter egg indeed. There's lots of people tend to find interesting by playing these games, the Half-Life games. Quite dark in here as well, isn't it? But I think for the time being, it's light enough. So... Oh! They're breaking in here. So how do you like a double shotgun barrel to the face, eh? You troublesome pit drone. I'll need my goggles on for this, though. It's dealing with me OCD as well. Oh, I took a hit from that one off to the side just then. Straight to the face with a double barrel shotgun. And it eliminates these things quite nicely. So I wonder if these bodies are destructible. No, it should seem not. You know me, I have to try everyone. It seem I just destroy the security guards' corpse there as well. It's strange how most of these corpses of these petrons are indestructible, isn't it? I think I've only been able to destroy one, one of them, or maybe two of them so far in this playthrough, for that matter. Just the last one to try now. Yes, all these petrol corpses are quite indestructible, it would seem. I wonder if this sparking pipe will hurt me if I touch it. No, it would seem not. I am curious about testing these things after all. After all, I am a badass elite player, so... I can take these risks with my health and I'll still survive. I wonder if this wall can be blown up though. You know, if it's got a crack in it. No. After all, there's been other uh, FPS games that I've played in the past where a crack in the wall indicates that it can be blown up. That's a... A massive hole can be blown into it. Not sure what, the, what that would have accomplished here, but I digress, baby dolls. Into the vents we go now. And hopefully there won't be big nasty creatures here waiting to murder us to death. And now we're out of those vents again. And as you can see, we're on the other side of this door where the scientist got electrocuted when he was trying to let us through here. So, what do we have here? Is it just me, or does this little crystal here look like the Xenian crystals that you find in Zen? And, um, it looks also a bit like the crystal that Gordon Freeman pushes into the anti-mass anti spectrometer at the start of the main game, doesn't it? Which causes this big c catastrophe. Yes, quite curious indeed, Sonny Jim. Another one of them there. And what was that little whooshing sound just then as well? Notice how I've changed my spray painter picture here to a camp, to a tent camp. Fitting for FPS games like this, since in online play, players who camp are hide in a secret place and try to shoot and kill any opponent players who come by, they tend to be uh, derisively referred to as campers by more elite players. Anyway, he is 
possibly electrical ammunition for our electric electricity based weapons. And now there's nothing else to do except head on into this machine and turn it on. Let's hope it doesn't beam us into um into your grandmother's retirement hall, boy. After all, she might force me to hold her knitting needles while she's doing something else with the wall, maybe. Oh, we're beamed underwater now. Anything up here? No? Okay. We're up above the water now. But we need to go down and through this vent, it looks like. At least now we're out of the water anyway. This is a very dark, scary looking place with the dim red lights making it seem even more menacing. Oh! Alien zombies! They're even tougher and more resilient than the standard scientist zombies, you see? Seems like they're about twice as tough for these um, raised walls on the side slowed me down when I was trying to dodge the head club. Can't believe it managed to hit me twice, that's just ridiculous. Always satisfying to blast these zombies with a double barreled shot to the head crab latched head, I suppose you could say. Anyway, the world can't know about these abominations in this place. See how tough the corpses are as well. Compared to regular scientist headcrab zombie corpses. That's because we all know soldiers are tougher than zombies, don't we? No, well, no, we all know soldiers are tougher than scientists, don't we? And where's that headcrab body? Well, yeah, there is. Evidence, you say, evidence needs to be destroyed. Is this like some kind of generator room here with this, maybe? Well, people can make a camp here if they're scared, I suppose. Seems like this is maintenance for the um, watery hydrofauna labs, doesn't it? Curiously enough. Can't seem to whack them with my cro with my um, monkey wrench either, and I can see muddy, dirty looking water down there as well. Makes you wonder why it could be so dirty, doesn't it? So I can't get to it, and I've never noticed it before either. Wouldn't want to take a dip in that though, would you, in case you swallowed some by accident? That'd be a nightmare for an OCD victim like me, and as you can see, I've lost all my armor now. Into another body of water we go now. In an underground section. A cave in the Black Mesa labs, it would seem. In the Black Mesa research facility, which we're in, you see. And we fell down from this vent in the ceiling. That's a, a rather interesting design, I think. The idea of a vent going into a rocky ceiling like that. Quite a feat of... <laughs> well, let's hope we don't come across that in person, eh? 
was it awful scary, that big mutant fish? Look how tall he is. He looked about over seven feet tall, didn't he see? Maybe even eight feet tall. How did you survive that double barreled shot to the head? You're only a lesser scientist zombie as opposed to this big monstrosity here. Because <clears throat> as you might have noticed, this one's got a head crab on his head just like this one has the smaller one. And look at their big muscular sweeping quadriceps as well. I wonder how the um, head crabs being attached to their heads can contribute to this muscle growth, I wonder. After all, they don't look too muscular in the um, forearms and the hands, do they? Despite having those awful long finger claw type things. And their feet look highly um, mutated, don't they? Amazing that their scientist pants have stretched, though, as their, as their quadriceps have grown in size, isn't it? And that their belt and that their belts have still managed to stay fastened around their waists, even though they've grown considerably, even around the waist. And some people have theorised that this growth on their chests here is kind of like armour. But it does have a mouth in the middle of it as well, it'd appear. So whether it's armour or just or just part of the mouth in, this, in their chests, it's tough to say. But yes, I do believe these are called gnomes. And they're the, um, they're the adult form of these uh, little scientist zombies, I think. They're the full-grown form of them. The next mutation, you could say, which um, that scientist at the beginning of the game was referring to when he was examining the uh, head crab corpses, the head crab zombie corpses. But enough talk, Sonny Jim. It's time to... Why am I having a hard time destroying this corpse? It seems like it could only hit each sweet spot on the corpse once or twice. Curious how their um, legs and their knees seem to be the sweet spot as well that you need to hit in order to destroy their corpses, isn't it? Hazardous mis machinery here as well, it would seem. Or well, suppose the sparking should give that away, shouldn't it? Feel free to make your camps here. People who are feeling scared in this place. Look, more little zombies here. Seeming to be a bit confused. Oh, I didn't mean to get hit like that with that devastating hit, zombie hit. With that devastating downward slash of its claws. Still, fortunately, we have armor here. Gets us up to 35% only on hard mode. And a health station, too. Ooh, a health station that doesn't work anymore. I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted to show you, baby dolls. I you wonder why these uh, little head crab zombies have these um, green toxic looking areas on their bodies, on their backs and their shoulders. Well, one of their shoulders anyway, doesn't it? 
All these unanswered questions in the game, baby dolls. And so few answers. Oh, look, more leeches in great distress in, lit in these little shallow bodies of water. We must put these out of their misery as well in case they should slip out of these little watery pockets and drown. That would be an unfortunate fate. Better to be killed in an instant, I say. Well, now, it looks like we're going to have to fight this big mutant fish after all, doesn't it? Now there's a daunting prospect, baby dolls. More of these, more of these water flow pipes, it's the pier. Wonder if I can make a stain in these ones. No, it's it seem not. Anyway, we're back out here now. Oh, and the big fish is out here as well. Fortunately, now I've, now I've got a chance to show you what the uh, primary function of this weapon is, which I believe I discovered maybe last episode or the episode before. I'm not quite sure. Here we go. Oh, missed it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hit it now. There is keen to my presence. Who knows, I could even... I could even die for the first time in this playthrough without my health is so low and my superpowers so low. Now all I'm really going to be able to do is run for it, or should I say swim for it? Through this way. Oh, it's right behind me. Oh no, I'm disoriented now after it bit me. But I got to safety, fortunately. It's a bit of a cheat, this, I think, how the fish always senses me in there as soon as I set foot in the water. But yeah, I'm going to make another mad, desperate dash for it now. Oh, it's after me again. I can hear it. Oh, first death of the video. And oh, oh I've got to fight all these again. That's just me. Why didn't my shotgun fire either? Oh, this is the game. It's just cheating like mad, I say. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the water as well. I'm just throwing stuff at me, but... Oh, the head crab jumped out of water at me. A stupid newbie cheat. How does it do that? That's just a load of stuff and nonsense, I say. A load of bleat and stuff and nonsense. Pure and adulterated stuff and nonsense, I say. Oh yes, take this. You stupid things, you stupid abominations. Okay, so I'm not going to use that station this time. Yeah, so maybe you could say that first death doesn't really count since I... Pretty much allowed it to happen by using that defective health station last time. Knowing that it would take... Knowing that it would take, um... Health off me. And yes, I've got to put these out of their misery again. And now up and out we go again. So that I can get back into the fight as quick as possible. Hiya! Where is it? The big fish? Yeah, it's in here. So I'll take this. And as you can see, we can send it back to Zen. Back to that broader world which we saw in the last chapter, I do believe. And now that this grate is open, we can head on through and proceed progress.
Anything to fear, I wonder, of interest? Not that I can see. I wasn't even making it out of the water there because I'm drowning right now. There you can spray paint on the water. That's amazing, isn't it? Anyway... We drained the water out of this airlock. So now we can head on through this door. It's just glass breakable, I wonder. It would seem not. I wonder if you can flood this place with water again. No. It was an irreversible process, it would seem. Look, a button to press. An explodey button, but a button regardless. Gamma X-ray, authorised use only, eh? Intriguing trees, baby dolls. Danger, high radiation, entry can be fatal, wear proper protection, eh? Maybe he didn't wear his protection. But the world will never know about his humiliating death. <coughs> Clean suit required. Why not dirty suits, I wonder? This computer room is a handy camping spot. I do so believe. And look, an electrical field here which is seemingly impassable. Not anymore though. Another soldier body, a sergeant say. Oh, what blew up then? And why did it blow up? Oh, it did was hit the um, floor with the monkey wrench here. Is the game just constantly trying to cheat me or what? Warning, disconnect power before attempting maintenance, eh? Well, I think we've done that when we just blasted this um, power box type thing, this power pack on the wall. Oh, this is awful ominous, this barrier here, isn't it? Oh no! Pitcher once again, wanting the shotgun blasts to the face. Well, maybe they don't want it, but they're gonna get it. Oh, what's that? It's awful freaky looking, isn't it? And as you can see, it fires electrical jolts at us. Are you saying Mother murdered him? Mother murdered him? They take an awful lot of punishment, don't they? These aliens, these new aliens are called shock troopers, I do believe. They're a member of Race X, which is what these fish-like aliens are part of as well, I do so believe. And unlike their cheating pit drone friends, their corpses are act actually destructible. If, if um, highly resilient, but still destructible. Anyway, let's press on, eh? I wonder what the view's like into the from this side of the window. It looks really dark compared to where it actually is in the air, doesn't it? Intriguing trees, Batman! So, this is the skeleton of that big scary mutant fish which caused me my first death earlier, is it? They have awful big skulls, don't they? 
So this is a Xenophorus Icky Canthus. Icky Canthus, eh? Intriguing. Evidence disposal, I'm afraid, friend. Oh, I can hear me fan on a bit loud. Was making me nervous when I was playing episode two earlier, and um, and it was really loud, and I thought I smelled uh, burning um, every just every so occasionally. It made me worry. But I still completed the game before stopping. I did it quite fast as well, sort of speed runnish, just over three hours. But yes, this has my seal of approval, this informative diagram of the Xenophorus Icicanthus, if that's how you pronounce it, Sonny Jim. Let's press on. Caution, avoid contact with airlock doors during, deep, during pressur pressurization, eh? Oh, I hear more of the big mutant fish. But this is our only way through, isn't it? So let's go. Well, this is a very big, stylish looking fish tank, isn't it? The size of a very large room. I suppose they need to be so big to house these big, massive, mutant alien fish, don't they? Oh, and there's like a, a shark cage down there as well, isn't there? Similar to the one which, as Gordon Freeman, we got into in the uh, apprehension chapter so that we could fire a crossbow safely at one of these icky canvas things which was rampaging away in the big pool in another part of the Black Mesa Labs. Anyway, I do believe that evidence is disposed and I do believe we can't get through this door. And that's our only way out of here is this also. And now we're back in Zen. <clears throat> in the past, I always thought that this um, part of Zen was just a short little section in which um, in which you just jumped from this platform to that one and then it was over. But no. You see, if you use this, I do believe they call it a displacement gun, and use the secondary function to transport yourself, you end up in a different part of this place, where you can actually jump to these other platforms, because we were over there before, you see, and we could never have jumped to these platforms, could we? But now that we're here, he is more of these Zen crystals, by the way. Spray painted with my seal of approval. Now we can jump down and get supplies. I do believe it would be more advantageous to um, leap this way, as, as I do believe we get more battery power. And that's what I need right now, battery power rather than health. Since I've got 79 health and all, you have the choice of going this way and getting more battery power, or that way and getting health and battery power. But health is more easily discoverable than um, battery power I feel so I'm gonna head off this way Whee! 
How nerve-wracking would it be making these jumps in real life, eh? Being faced with the prospect of falling forever if you missed one of your jumps. Terrifying prospect indeed, Sonny Jim, I'd say. I, uh, uh, uh. And another jump to make now. I, uh, oh, yes. I'm a pro, Sonny Jim. And these give lots of different ammo types, as opposed to just one type, these Senian containers. In the past, I'd always just assumed that they were rockets to where they're big and narrow. It's amazing how they're um, bigger than a person's torso as well, isn't it? So you know there's going to be lots of stuff in them, don't you? See, so look at all those five different types of ammunition that showed up in the bottom right when I collected it. They contain lots of materials indeed, Sonny Jim. Anyway, let's get out of here. Now we have to go back so that we can get out through this portal. Hiya! Of course I could have maybe... Um, did that other... On the other direction to get the other uh, battery power and, and armor, but I'm not gonna bother putting them out of their misery, those leeches. Anyway. Oh, the drowning! Don't worry, I'll put you out of your misery, leeches, so that you can't suffer the agonizing death of drowning. I do imagine that to be a terrible way to die, you see. And now... Fortunately for us, this tank has ruptured, it would seem. Unfortunately, that's also our only way out. Well, let's see if we can transport one of these fish away, and we can. It's a shame this one's going to be lonely now, though, on its own, isn't it? And now, with luck, we'll be able to swim through this tank and upward without us getting bitten. Oh, I swam the wrong way, but yes, I managed to make it out. Through that great hit venting in the ceiling. Biodome drainage system, eh? And we're on a new chapter now, Vicarious Reality, Sonny Jim. In the Biodome, eh? Did anyone ever see that film here? Anyone watching? Oh, I didn't mean to go back through the loading screen. I didn't know we got this chapter notification twice either. And it seems there's no way through here because of all this collapsed debris in the walls. So, can I be hurt by this electricity? No. So now our only way out is up through here. Oh, why did that explode? Oh yeah, and I didn't show you before. Now I've got a new weapon. A living weapon, I might add, from the shot trooper I killed before. And it has unlimited ammunition. It recharges after I've shot it. After I've shot alien creatures with it. And it fires those same electrical pulses which the um, shock trooper was firing at me, you might have noticed. Anyway, now that we're in a relatively comfortable spot, I'm going to save the game here. And I bid you and um, turn the game off. And now I bid you farewell, Sunny Jim. Bye.